Hello and welcome to the TTI Distribution Download, the podcast where we talk about all things happening in the world of electronic components with the specialists of TTI. Today it's another installment of Big Ideas and Little Known Facts about Connectors with John Sandy of TTI and Dan Venuto of Molex. Thanks, Jim, and welcome, everybody, to TTI and Molex's Big Ideas and Little Known Facts podcasts with me, John Sandy from TTI, and Dan Venudo from Molex. Today, we're going to be talking to Sven Hirsch, Director of Sales and Marketing, and Mario Erna, Product Manager in Molex's FCT Business Unit. Hi, Sven and Mario. Welcome to the show. I know we met in Munich in person and uh, really excited to have you guys on the show and tell our audience about the FCT business within Molex. So Sven, to begin, can you tell our audience a little bit about you and your background in the industry? Thanks, Dan and John, for having us on the show. It's a pleasure being on, on the podcast. My name is Sven Hirsch. I'm over 20 years by now with Molex in different roles, spanning from PM roles into BDM and different sales roles. Most recently in a sales management role in the US, mainly in the industrial space for over 15 years by now, and uh, now with FCT. And then Mario, thanks again for coming on the show. Can you tell the audience a little bit about uh, your background at Molex? Alex. Thanks, Dan. Uh, my name is Mario Honor, and I'm the global product manager for the FCT product line, now since already over seven years. In this time, I helped to implement product management at the business unit of FCT and integrate the portfolio of the DSUBs in the Molex sales environment. Um, my educational background is I have a Bachelor in Industrial Engineering and I have an MBA with two degrees at the University of Salzburg and at the Hochschule für Seniors in Munich. Great. Thank you both. Can you guys give our audience a little history on the FCT business unit at Molex? Let's start with the history of FCT. It's a company that was founded in 1972 in Munich, Germany. The name means originally flight connector technology, even when the focus was not really long on the aerospace connectors. From a very early stage, uh, the FCT produced uh, high quality D-subs and uh, in the 90s they built the factory in Leipzig, which is still the factory for our D-subs and other products that we are producing. Especially in the Dach region, we are quite strong and we have a quite significant market share there. In the past and still today, it's the same there. In 2013, Molex acquired FCT just before itself was acquired by Cook Industry. This was Bound actually the uh, implementation and integration of FCT into Molex until 2017. And since this time, we are a fully integrated part of the power and signal business unit uh, of CCS. From a customer perspective, it's the same now to sell a DSAP than each other PSBU product. There's no difference really. Thanks for that overview. That's great. So if we look at FCT's uh, DSAP range that's now offered through Molex, what is it about that product that makes it a good fit for distribution? Yeah, John, I think the DSAP range is a very modular design and the components are standardized in the DIN 41652. The design is a reliable and proven over the last decades design and the connector can be used in multiple applications and markets. The markets we see as key for our FCT product line with high quality machine contacts and our in-house manufacturer diecast hoods are industrial, medical and non-automotive transportation. All this gives distribution partners like TTI the possibility to service key markets in the industry with one product line and a reasonable amount of stock items. So having said that, I think it's ideal to really stock a lot of parts and basically service your customers in a short time frame. I mean, it's, uh, I think one of the things with FCT product line is just the diversity of customers that can use this technology. And speaking of that, Sven, can you talk about some of the new product development going on in the FCT business unit today? Mm -hmm, sure. Um, the biggest focus area of our d connector is in the industrial market. And if we talk about industrial market, we meaning here mainly industrial automation, which include process automation, robotics, and more. Other focus area and industrial area that we are serving our products in are test and measurement companies and semiconductor machine builders, for example. But if you're thinking about a possible application for machine DSAPs, they are much, much higher and the variance is huge. 
we have already today a customer base of more than 10,000 customers that we are serving through distribution partners like TDI. But the potential is even higher given the target application and markets. So therefore, we cannot say it's only one focus area. The area is huge that we are serving here. Yeah, that's a good point. And I know that we've been doing that since uh, since we launched um, FCT back in 2017, and we've had some good success. I would certainly say those markets are, are key ones for us. So I, I can see a really good fit for TTI and its uh, focused customer base. So Mario, now, can you tell me uh, about some of maybe the, the big trends, what you're seeing, uh, developments, anything new coming down the road when it comes to D-Sub marketing that Molex is focused on? With FCT, we are currently evaluating new designs and really try to focus on our core strengths, which we deem to be um, shielded power applications in the high mix market with low to medium volumes. We think with our own manufacturing facilities and a high level of integration, we're able to react quite nimble and fast to customer specific designs and trends. We're currently working on the expansion of our multicap product range, which will be releasing the sealed version of the multicap products by the end of this calendar year. The next step then will be to also integrate shielded versions into, into the product range, which is also staying true to our core strengths and our core capabilities in terms of shielding. One of the areas we're also looking into right now is shielded power board to board applications which we see also growing interest in the market for. That is great. You mentioned the multi-cat product line. Can you tell the uh, audience a little bit about the multi-cat product line in case they're unfamiliar with that? Multicat was developed already many years ago, I would say 2017. So it's not really a new product, but it never got really the attention that it deserves. In Multicat, we offer a product which has four times up to 40 amps contacts in a quite small power ratio. Like the size is not that big for the product. It has machined terminals, which we using in a quite similar way also in our DESA products. So the, lock, uh, the terminal system is nothing which is completely new. It's a proven concept. And the code connector itself has a positive locking and also an option for a CPA locking system. For us, Multicut is more or less the bridge between a more like standard product and one of our key FCT capabilities that we're having with machined contacts. So it's connecting somehow the two worlds for us and bring us new opportunities. The main challenge that we have, not many people know the product and we want to change that. The main challenge that we have with Multicat product is to make it more known in the general market because not that many people know about it. And we counting here also of the help of TTI to promote the product better and to make it more knowable in the market. Thanks for that overview, Mario. And uh, I think you make a few good points there. I mean, Multicap for sure has been out for a while. TTI has been promoting it for a while. Uh, I think everyone forgets that it's it's really based on a very well-proven uh, connector system from uh, the D-Sub world. If I'm a customer and I'm looking at Multicap, what, what are the, the, the things I need to be aware of and what makes it so special for me? That's a good question, Sean. I think it makes really special that it's like a really reliable in the box connection with the machine with machine contacts and machine contacts there in the box is quite rare. So we have there a quite, quite proven concept, as you said, and, and that makes it special for the customers. And speaking of multi-cat, you know, you mentioned reliability. It can obviously handle a significant amount of power, 40 amps and a small form factor. But on the reliability front, I hear some of these connectors are actually out of this world, literally, and uh, traveling in space right now. Can you tell the audience a little bit about that? Yeah, you're right. Uh, we have one customer which really used them in satellites and they're, they're flying around in our environment. What was one of the reasons that our space customer selected the multi-cat connection system? In Ulticat, we're using Ultam as a as the material, and this have a very good UV resistance, and that's one of the highest of the important criteria. If you put a connector for the for the space environment, and therefore it was used from this key customer here. Okay, so if I'm a customer and I'm, I'm looking at Multicat and I'm looking at maybe a potentially a solution and I'm looking for value add, maybe even cable assemblies, is that is that something that uh, we can offer through the channel? And is that something that you offer on the Multicat and the, the D-Sub range of products? Um, yes, we do offer cable assemblies for all our products. But here we mainly relying to the support of our PSBU colleagues from the cable group, which has a 
great reputation in the market and usually handling the cable projects for us. Thanks for that. That's interesting. I know a lot of our customers are already very familiar with the the PSBU and the whole cable assembly value add solution. And TTI has been uh, promoting that quite heavily for our customer base with with some level of success for sure. So we look forward to seeing opportunities on on the FCT products in the future uh, when it comes to value add and cable assemblies. I think we've uh, we've done a really good job there at kind of overviewing FCT. If I was going to ask uh, you two guys on the on the call if you've got any final thoughts, anything our customers should be looking out for in in 2024, could you uh, give me some final thoughts? Sure, absolutely. What we are really looking forward to this year is is making a big push into the Americas region, and uh, we will be focusing really in 2024 increasing our stocking footprint and our market share in the US. And this is why we're looking forward working with TTI on that forefront and uh, and making sure we're successful also in 2024 in on that side. That's perfect. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to going down that road with you guys. And um, certainly the success we've seen in the early days of FCT, we look forward to doubling down and, and seeing more of that as we, we push it through 2024. So everybody on the, that's listening, all of our listeners, thank you for tuning in again. That was uh, Sven Hirsch and Mario Erner from uh, Molex's FCT Business Div Unit. We'd like to thank both of you for your time and your thoughts today on, on our podcast. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. That's it for this episode of the TTI Distribution Download. For more information on any of the topics you heard about today, reach out to your nearby TTI branch at 1-800-CALL-TTI or visit us online at tti.com.